Ginestra is the Italian word for the broom flower. But in the Langhe, one of the most important wine regions of Italy, it refers to a very prestigious and renowned vineyard. Here, a handful of winemakers produce the rare and iconic Barolo Ginestra Cru, a wine sought after by many collectors. Hi, I'm Jacqueline mitchell Lavero, a chef and a sommelier here in Milange, Italy, where I live and I'm going to talk today about Aldo Clerico's Barolo Ginestra. Aldo Clerico's small winery is located in Monforte d'Alba, in the heart of the Lange. We are in Piedmont, in the north of Italy. This is the land of the Nebbiolo grape, which is widely considered to be one of the most important Italian wine varieties, especially when it comes to quality. And it's from this Nebbiolo grape that Barolo wine is made, provided that the vineyard is located in one of the only 11 villages where the production of Barolo is allowed and that the wine is aged for at least three years, mostly in oak barrels. This itself speaks for the quality of the Barolo wine, but only the best among Barolos are allowed to show the name of the vineyard from where they come on the label. In Italian, this is referred to as the Mensione Geografica Aggiuntiva, which technically means additional geographic mention. This is the case for this wine right here, the Barolo Ginestra. As you can see, Ginestra, the name of this historic vineyard located in Monforte d'Alba, stands out on the label here alongside the indication of the appellation, Barolo DOCG. But why is the Ginestra Cru so important? Well, it's the result of two historic and iconic families of the Barolo area, the Clerico and Conterno families, coming together. Aldo Clerico and his wife, Valentina, who inherited a portion of this vineyard from her grandfather, Conterno, grow the grapes and put all of their passion into making this single vineyard wine. So, will this wine live up to the important name displayed on the label? Let's find out. I'm willing to try it. One of the things that you will first notice about this Barolo is this color. It's not among the most strong colored wines you've ever seen, but that's typical of every Barolo and the Nebbiolo grape. But this garnet red in the glass here is very appealing and inviting. On the nose, mm, this bouquet is definitely intense, rich, and complex. All of the scents and aromas pop right out of the glass and are easily distinguishable. You can find small red fruits like cherries or cranberries, some sweet spicy notes like vanilla, and even some flowery notes like red rose and violet in this glass. Now, let's taste my favorite part. This Barolo Ginestra really lives up to its name. It's powerful, full, and rich. It's got some balsamic notes that are well accompanied by the fruitiness of the wine. The tannins are definitely there, but they are well integrated with the acidity and the alcohol, so they're not too astringent on the palate. For such an important and structured wine, this is surprisingly easy to drink. This is a wine that's very easy to recommend, both to wine connoisseurs and to wine enthusiasts who want a special wine. It's at the same time complex, easy to enjoy, and will be great to pair with food. There's a reason why Ginestra is one of the most sought after Barolo Cruz, and Aldo Clerico's wine is such a nice expression of that vineyard. So there you have it. The Barolo Ginestra from Aldo Clerico. If you live in the US, it might be difficult to find a small production craft wine from Europe like this one. 
So have a look at Vero's online shop where you can find this Barolo Ginestra and many other wines and extra virgin olive oils. You'll find the link to the Vero shop in the description below. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and to head over to check out our website below for more content like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next class. Salute.